Many of you may know that FLIR Systems is the, the world leader in infrared and thermal innovation and in products. Um, one of the ways that we have maintained that reputation and have grown our market is we introduce new products every two or three years based on uh, bringing infrared technology into everyday life. Uh, the ways that we do that is we innovate in the areas of focal plane array technology, in vacuum packaging, image processing, and in optics. Um, so one of the things that we've said is part of making infrared imaging part of everyday life is to make the next big thing with something small. So I want to tell you a little bit about our new product that's based on making the next big thing with something really small. This really started for uh, FLIR at the time we were Indigo. In 1999, we introduced the Alpha Camera. The Alpha Camera was really the first product that started what is now known as small or micro camera, uh, long wave infrared cameras in 1999. So this was an innovation at the time. This camera was about the size of a salt shaker. And people at the time thought, how are you going to be able to get a camera that small? Three years later, the innovation with the same focal plane was the introduction of, a, of the Omega camera. And the Omega camera was really innovative in the sense that it was the first camera that didn't have a TE cooler. So Techless now is a huge part of this industry, but FLIR was the one that innovated the first Techless operation. In 2004, we introduced our VGA and QVGA Photon product. Now this, this for us was a very successful product in, in terms of units sold, but it also introduced uh, thermal into a whole new level of, or whole new um, markets. We had uh, markets in UAV, uh, firefighting really took off with this product, maritime, personal vision systems, and it was the first time that we had uh, a common interface between uh, QVGA and VGA uh, FPA resolutions. In 2006, uh, a version of Photon was released called AutoCam. This is the Night Vision 1 product that found its way into the BMW 5, 6, and 7 series. It was uh, the first of now the third generation product that's, that's found its way into, automot into the automotive industry in a very successful and well-known application for thermal. Uh, now, uh, infrared video or thermal vi imaging in automotive is used for pedestrian detection and autonomous driving. In 2009, we introduced the Tau product. The Tau product um, was the first camera for us to uh, adopt advanced radiometry or temperature measurement. Um, the, the Tau camera also was our first product to introduce 17 micron pitch focal plane arrays. It was also the first camera to have the same uh, mechanical and electrical interface allowing connectivity between any of the VGA or QVGA flavors of the product. In 2012, we introduced the Quark product. The Quark was our first product to introduce wafer-level packaging. So um, it allowed us to build the world's smallest and lowest power QV or VGA uh, imaging core in a very small package, of course, with scene-based nuke, which we call shutterless, uh, silent shutterless nuke. Uh, and then two years ago, uh, we introduced the Lepton. The Lepton, probably many of you know, is still the world's smallest infrared imaging core. It's a one millimeter on a side, very, very small for the consumer market. The Lepton has found its way into the FLIR One uh, phone, uh, uh, smartphone adapter, as well as the recently announced Cat Phone S60. It's, an embed it's embedded into the uh, S60 phone. So you see a common theme with many of our products having to do with physics and, and particles. Um, so we were wondering, what are we going to call our new product? And we came up with the idea of boson. And, and, and this is an artist rendering of what a boson might look like, which is a, kind of a bold thing to do because nobody really even knew that bosons existed until 2012. Uh, Einstein and, and Bose sort of theorized this notion in the early part of the 20th century, but it wasn't even until 1960 that a theory of bosons uh, was, was even uh, thought about. In, in, like I said, in 2012, uh, the boson was actually measured. And um, the thing about boson that's interesting is a boson is a particle that brings mass to other particles. And so we think that's an appropriate name for our, our product. Because our boson really is a, a new innovation 
in thermal imaging. Uh, it's new for four re really important reasons. The first reason is it's still high performance. So all the FLIR cameras that uh, you are familiar with are high performance, and it is maintaining our emphasis on size, weight, and power optimization. The second reason is that we have introduced with the Boson a new architecture that's highly configurable for our customers. We're allowing our customers to access the resources inside the Boson. The third reason is we have extensive configurability in the Boson, allowing uh, the, our customers to uh, have more configurability and options in the way that they want to use the product. The fourth reason is the Boson is introducing uh, new, price, new pricing for uh, high performance and very capable cameras. So let's talk about performance. Uh, the Boson is 12 micron pitch vanadium oxide pixels, VGA and QVGA uh, spatial resolution, and our highest performance uh, version of the Boson has a sensitivity of below 40 millikelvin. At the same time, there's a new reduction in size, weight, and power. The camera core is less than 5 cubic centimeters, less than 10 grams, and are uh, beginning at 500 milliwatt power. So again, that's a new low for VGA cores. I mentioned the second reason, um, expandable architecture. What do we mean by that? Well, FLIR has teamed with a company called Movidius. Some of you may have heard of Movidius. Movidius is the industry leader in uh, visual processing units, VPUs. Uh, VPUs are systems on a chip that allow us to access uh, all the interfaces that you would want to access onto a system on a chip. So really, uh, the, the Boson is the first thermal camera with a system on a chip powering it. Now, why is that important? That's important because it's software configurable. That means you can have connectivity with all the industry standards that you would want for your platform. Things like USB, Ethernet, uh, web server, Bluetooth. Uh, in addition to that, we're able to have inputs for video processing of CMOS sensors, uh, GPS, IMU. So many of the different sensors that you would want to either process on your platform now can be done inside the Boson. Because it's software configurable, that also means that we're able to do video analytics inside the camera. So now video analytics on the edge, not outside the camera, but inside the camera. So the third, op third reason that I said was important is the configurability of the boson. And this is related to the second part of, of software configurability. We have the ability to build camera cores for different market segments, whether it's firefighting, UAS or security. That allows us to have in the camera uh, button panel, LCD display, video analytics for any of these applications. In addition, with, these, with this configurability, we are offering 15 different lens, lens types. Uh, ranging from four and a half degrees out to 92 degrees. So again, very wide configurability uh, on the electro, uh, uh, on the optical side. And finally, I mentioned the last reason is we're lowering barriers to market by offering the boson at very aggressive and attractive prices. Um, and uh, I think you'll find in your discussions with us, this is a new exciting product at a new exciting price point. So this is why we continue to say, please come talk to us about how you can make your next big thing with the small camera, the very capable camera, uh, the Boson. So thank you for your time.